Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, noble video. It's a short video today, I'm not reviewing anything, I just will be unboxing new Galaxy Tab S9 that replacing my old agent Tab S6 and first impressions, all the, those tablets not comparable because this is a bigger and much uh, more powerful tablet. This one served me well, it's still working, just gonna give to my parents because it's still a very capable tablet. So the reason why I bought S9, because I believe in Samsung, Samsung if you within Android environment, not Apple, I think no one produces tablets better than Samsung, very uh, trusted brand. And I pre-ordered S9 and received it today. And I received it with my Galaxy Watch S6. So if you didn't see unboxing of Watch S6, uh, I will link video above. But also, uh, you don't have to subscribe to my channel. I'm not professional. I'm not gonna here to surprise anyone or confirm your opinion. But if you care about unbiased reviews, as I say how it is, no bull videos, uh, feel free uh, to subscribe to my channel. But what does help me, I put links down below for everything that I purchased and purchased. Uh, if you just about to buy something on Amazon, uh, it will help to run my channel because it takes a lot of time uh, even I'm not editing my videos to post and manage it and, and, and answer comments. So I really appreciate all my viewers and if you are here to help and because you, if price is right on Amazon, please click on my links and um, buy through uh, what I posted down below. But before further ado, so here's S9, S6. Again, I'm saying it's not uh, comparable tablets, but uh, <clears throat> with the latest offering from Samsung, you got S9. S9 Plus and Ultra. A uh, couple of reasons why I didn't buy Ultra or S9. So first of all, uh, I do make videos on tablet and S9 Plus has better cameras than uh, S9. So that's the reason. Also bigger battery, um, all the CPU and memory the same. Memory is not true. So S9 has only one offering. I think it's eight gigabyte. Uh, S9 Plus uh, 8 and 12 and Ultra 12 and 16. Look, 12 gigabytes of memory is enough for me. Uh, S9 Plus and Ultra have the same uh, uh, cameras. I think Ultra got a little bit better the front camera, but it's not that important to me. So the price of $200 difference uh, was not justifiable for Ultra and also I don't need monstrous tablet. Look, 12 inch is already uh, as big as it gets. Look, this is 10 inch, this is 12. So it's a big tablet uh, and it's a heavier tablet. So I try to stay mindful on the budget, uh, but S9 probably wouldn't tick all the boxes. So good news is unlike Apple, S6 and S9 Plus come with the uh, pen. If you are a creative person or you're writing notes or using pencil for any other reasons, that's amazing deal, right? And, and, and pens or pencils, uh, electronic pencils getting uh, better with every generation. So expect this one to be uh, just uh, uh, as good as previous or better. Now, from a speed perspective, I don't remember what uh, Snapdragon we had here, I think uh, uh, 685 or 75, don't remember what it is, I don't want to speculate. This one got Snapdragon uh, uh, Gen 2, which is quite powerful CPU, and I believe if this one handles most of the things I would like to give it, and I'm not playing games, this one should handle uh, things for a while, and also two years warranty in Australia. So uh, again, because the tablets are not comparable, I just want to show both tablets and quickly unbox. I guess this is what the video is all about. And um, let's do this. So first of all, again, as every time, if you buy a new tablet and you pay premium that you don't buy a second hand, uh, second hand new or on the market, make sure the seal is not broken. And even if you buy a second hand market as new, seal should be intact. If seal is not intact, the tablet was unboxed and who knows what's inside. So there's a seal uh, at the bottom, sealed at the top, and I usually open with a scissors, but there's a little um, kind of things here to pull, and let's try and see whether I can pull and whether it will work for me. Yes, it does work, it strips like that. So two strips to remove, and I think we can remove the tablet and what's inside. 
was second didn't work as predicted let's see if from other side it will be better uh, a little bit better not sure if we succeeded right we succeeded so nicely packaged so as usual you've got uh, tablet and the way to open is kind of lever here I pull it out and tablet is inside I uh, put it aside just for now and let's see what's in the package so you've got a uh, pen which is expected an expert cable uh, Samsung does not provide any charges anymore which I think it's maybe good for environment but come on if you pay uh, thousands of dollars for a tablet I think charger would be nice now I think it's a standard equipment so there's a, uh, a sim card pin remover that's a Wi-Fi version so I'm not sure why they including in everything that pin if they would uh, not send that pin they probably could save millions of dollars worldwide but it's their problem so uh, by the look of it there's a set of instructions inside don't care about them there's nothing to read by the way, so I'm not sure why this in instructions. Maybe it's a local warnings how to use electrical cables and so on. Now I noticed with the Galaxy Watch 6 and now with the tablet, um, it's USB-C to USB-C. Um, while it's great and dandy, uh, I still believe uh, they should have provided at least adapter to USB-A. I don't have any USB-C charges. I know everything moving to USB-C, but adapter instead of pin would be nice. So I probably will charge it in the car uh, for now and then buy a charger. It's a pain. Like I remember when they moved from um, uh, mini USB to or USB-3 to USB-C, they were providing adapter. How hard is to provide adapter? It would cost 50 cents for them, but it would uh, not piss off consumers. I know it's the wrong thing to do for the environment, but now I'll probably struggle uh, until I buy a charger. Not a complaint, just observation. So if you don't have USB-C charger to charge the tablet, look, you need one. Um, the tablet is USB-C, but the cable is USB-C to USB-C. And uh, I think if you got different cable A to C, you may charge, or maybe it's actually it's a good idea. You've got USB-C to USB-C cable, and you can still use your USB-A to USB-C while charging. So I guess that is all. Um, Tablet-wise, let's pick it. Look, tablet is tablet. There's nothing to, um, I guess, special to have a look until we start and start using it. Uh, but if you still would like to see a tablet, Let's have a look. Um, it is big, gorgeous tablet. Uh, seemingly almost no borders. So on top you've got camera and borders are very thin. So tablet is tablet. There's a space for pen would be magnetic, right? So there's nothing extraordinary to describe or compare. So here we are. We unpacked Galaxy Tablet S9 plus which is 12 inch i'll use it for a couple of months and then provide a review thank you so much for watching greg from brisbane australia until next time